Hi, it's Kurt again, and welcome to another day of devotion. As we continue to study 1 Corinthians, we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 15 through 18, and this section is about sexual sin. Sexual sin, in a kind of unique way, separates you from union with God. Because God made us to be in union with him, and created marriage is a picture of that unity. We see that in several places in the Bible. Any kind of sexual union outside that relationship also interferes with our relationship with Jesus. 1 Corinthians 16, 15 through 18 says this. Don't you realize that your bodies are actually parts of Christ? Should a man take his body, which is part of Christ, and join it to a prostitute? Never. And don't you realize that if a man joins himself to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her? For the scripture says, the two are unified into, united into one. But the person who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Run from sexual sin. No other sin so clearly affects the body as this one does. For sexual immorality is a sin against your own body. Wow. Yeah, we all know sex is something we each want. And frankly, need. And like all of our needs, the Lord provides it within his plan. And when we start getting any of our needs, any of them, outside of his plan, it's trouble. It really is. And this one seems possibly even more trouble because it is so basic to being human. It's so basic to our relationship to God. He's made this whole thing the way it's supposed to be. And outside of that, it just not only does it mess up us sinfully, but it also messes up our this connection with God in, in a way that I don't think any of us understand properly. Our theme verse has been 1 Corinthians 2, 1 and 2. When I first came to you, dear brothers and sisters, I didn't use lofty words and impressive wisdom to tell you God's secret plan. For I decided while I was with you, I would forget everything except Jesus Christ, the one who was crucified. Now, and, and you can decide what you want about that scripture. Does it really mean, oh, it's only with a prostitute? No, I don't think that's the case. It's about this messing up of that relationship, that one-time, one-union relationship with Jesus. And you just have to be very, very careful with that. And, and, and it really is a mess up. And again, it's, it's like every other sin. It's not unforgivable. But it really does mess up that relationship with God. And, and I urge you to avoid it. Father, we're thankful for... The picture of marriage as a picture of our relationship with Jesus and uh, help us to be in union with him our whole lives and only in union with him. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Guys, have an amazing day and hey, we're coming up to the weekend. So uh, we got one more day uh, to the weekend. So I'll look for you tomorrow. See you then. Bye.